Hello all, I welcome you to SourceCAD tutorial and let's start AutoCAD. Once you launch your AutoCAD, you'll find this splash window. Wait for the program to start and now this is what an AutoCAD window looks like once you'll start it. You might get this welcome screen also once you start. So, for the first time when you'll start this welcome screen, the welcome view obviously. Now here you can find some of the quick tools like new, open, open sample file, and all these things. These are the recent drawing which you have drawn and other things. You can turn off this using this check mark here. Just click on this and from the next time this won't start. Okay, so for now we are not going to use this. This one is normal AutoCAD interface and on this interface we have got something here called ribbon so this is the ribbon view which has been implemented into AutoCAD 2009 and all the later versions it was not present in AutoCAD 2008 and prior releases so these are all the ribbons insert annotate layout parametric and so on on this ribbon these are the panels so this one is the draw panel modify panel layer panel and so on okay you are right now in drafting and annotation workspace. You can switch this workspace using this option here. Just click on AutoCAD Classic and you will be taken back to the classical view of AutoCAD which was prior to 2008 releases. So this is the classical view. You can choose any view, any workspace to work on. The difference is placement of tools. That's it. There is no big change from one workspace to another. You can switch your workspace using this gear icon also. Click on this and go back to drafting and annotation and we are back to drafting and annotation. Now we have some quick access tools here like new, open, save, save as, plot, undo, redo all these buttons. Also when you click on this icon you will find those similar tools here also. Okay and here you have a very important search command. This one facilitates you to select a command which you are not able to find obviously on a ribbon or panel. For example, let's say we want to locate line command. Okay, so click here line and there it is. You'll find your line command. It is placed on ribbon tab on home panel draw and then line. Let's see where it is on ribbon, home ribbon, draw panel, line command. So home ribbon, draw panel and line command. So this is how you can locate your commands using this search. Okay. After that, let's have a look at this command line. So this is your command input box. Here it's showing as a type of command that simply means that you don't have any command activated right now. This cursor also indicates the same thing. It has got a big box and the point selection cursor both. You'll get to know about point selection cursor and big box later in my tutorials. Okay. Now as soon as you select a command, this cursor changes and also this command line. Here the icon of command, name of command and specific instruction which is different from command to command. Okay. Now if you select say trim command the cursor again changes to a big box. So these are different type of cursor modes which you will find while working on AutoCAD. Okay, now let's have a look at this small icon which is help. This one is quite an interesting and very useful feature in AutoCAD. Whenever you get stuck, just click on this help icon. This help window will pop up and you need to be connected to internet for this help window. Once this window is here, just select the tool for example line or let's say we want to know more about circle tool so select circle and press enter and everything about circle will populate here okay now so here it is go ahead and learn what you want to do learn whatever you want about circles so this one is a very effective tool while learning AutoCAD okay this this just you can navigate through this and learn as many things as possible so to remember this feature 
Okay, now let's make a simple drawing in AutoCAD. So we have not done any tools, so I'll select line, I'll make a simple object, a simple triangle like this. Okay, and now we attempt to save it. So for saving it, select save from here or you can select save from here or you can also press ctrl s so i'll select this one and go to desktop i'm saving it on desktop and use any name that you want so i will select name our drawing one okay and save it now our drawing is saved on desktop and here is the drawing Okay now let's have a look at some of the navigation features in AutoCAD and that is zoom and pan. Suppose we want to move this drawing into this window. For that press your scroll the middle wheel press it this hand will appear and now move it. This drawing will move into your window wherever you want. Okay you can do so using this also this pan tool here if you don't find this navigation tool here so go to this one select navigation bar and your navigation bar will appear now next tool is zoom so for zooming in or out you need to rotate your wheel so right now I'll just point my cursor to this point and rotate it in one direction it will zoom in in another it will zoom out and the center of zoom will be your cursor point so wherever you point your cursor that will become the center of zoom so make sure you point at the correct place while zooming in or zooming out now for closing this window we have already saved it so now you can close this drawing sheet from here AutoCAD is still running but the drawing sheet is now closed go to new Select the default template, we'll learn about it later and OK. So here's the new window from which you can start your drawing. If you want to open the drawing which you have already saved, that is drawing 1, go to open, go to desktop, select your drawing and open. And the drawing will open. So I hope you're familiar with the AutoCAD tools now. So in next tutorial, we'll start with the draw commands. Thank you for watching.